seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, engines full power, and lift off of NASA Crew 8. Go Falcon, go SpaceX, and go NASA. Endeavor ascends a beacon of human hit. 1.7 million pounds of thrust now propelling Falcon 9 and Crew 8. Vehicle is pitching down range. Nominal power and telemetry. T minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off Falcon 9, go SpaceX, go Transporter 10. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Downloading, and what do you team of pressures? T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex 4 East. We're just coming up on the point of throttling down to prepare for max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle. You can see Power some, telemetry nominal. You can see some great views of the California coast down there below. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go Star. Vehicle is pitching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. Pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9, go Starlink, go SpaceX. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion nominal. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we have lift off.
Our 45th Electron is now in the air, having successfully lifted off the pad at Launch Complex 1. Since Spectre's Strix 3 satellite, it's on its way to space. The next critical stage in Electron's flight is Max Q, or Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster booster and ship avionics power and telemetry nominal acquisition of signal corpus christi We're continuing to get good call outs our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal systems looking nominal just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic, so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Now, the, me the next major milestone is gonna be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're gonna be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're gonna shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. That'll be our Miko, our most engines cut off. And then the clamps holding the two stages together are gonna release. Starship second stage will ignite its engines, the RVAX first, the sea levels right after that. The sea level engines will be splayed or just kind of pointed out at about a 15 degree angle. So if you look close, if we get good tracking, you might be able to see those center right after. And so those six engines will push Starship off of the booster. All right, counting down now, we're gonna be coming up right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle. And then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Boosters now making Acquisition its signal. way back, Ten. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, okay, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Um. T-minus five, four, three, two, one, ignition, lift off.
vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9, go Starlink, go SpaceX. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Engine chamber pressure is nominal. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Beginning pitch level. Stage one propulsion nominal. Our 46th Electron is in the air and on its way to orbit after liftoff from Launch Complex 2. Electron's Rutherford engines are burning hot as the launch vehicle accelerates towards Max-Q, that moment when the density of the air around the rocket and its acceleration through that air creates the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the launch vehicle will experience. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, ignition, and lift off at a dragon turn to eight one one forty. Three times the science and cargo take flight on NASA's SpaceX 30th commercial resupply services mission. Falcon 9 at 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Pitching down range, hearing good calls of performance. Nominal trajectory as Falcon 9 and Dragon arc out to the northeast. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And during ascent, we will tilt or gimbal our engines, guiding the rocket into what we call a gravity turn. Through this turn, the vehicle is flying both up and horizontally, nominal. horizontally away from the launch pad. Now, this rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to make it to orbit and avoid being pulled back down to Earth.
Five, four, three, two, one. Full power and lift off. Go top and lift off. Minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Falcon Nine. Go you go fast, go Falcon. Vehicle is pitching down range. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A, carrying the Eutelsat 36D payload to orbit. Now, during the rocket's ascent, we will be tilting the engines, the technical term for that being gimbling, and that'll turn the rocket horizontally in what we call a gravity turn. The vehicle will still be going up, but now we'll also be headed horizontally away from the launch pad. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off of Starlink 645. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Vehicle's pitching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Thank you. 